Arrington, the OG, right, former All-American, PA alumni, came out of Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh area, went to Penn State. What's up with that relationship, man? How did that develop? Uh, hit me up in high school. One of the, you know, kind of offered me the number. He's like, I want you to wear it. I believe you're going to be the next big thing. So, you know, hearing him hey, at Lynn say that to me from that high school, you know, I'm just getting there. Right. It's like, whoa, man. Yeah, he, he was that dude. He was that dude, man. So just hearing those words and getting that unbelievable support system since day I walked in was huge for me. Right. If I was having a tough time on campus or anything, you know, real family dude. It's like a stepfather to me and uh, somebody that represents well in Stick City. Yeah, he that dude, man. He was right because you went on to become first freshman to lead Penn State in tackles, freshman All-American, your sophomore season. You were flat out All-American. And y'all went, was it the Cotton Bowl? Yeah. The Cotton Bowl, yeah. defensive uh, MVP of the Cotton Bowl game, man. Um, so expectations were high going into junior season. And then, of course, COVID hit and shut everything down. You chose to. Now, Big Ten, I mean, God bless them, but they was, they was kind of like – they ain't know what they wanted to do for a while, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, you and many other players uh, around the country and in, and in the conference in particular chose to opt out. What what went into that decision? Um, you know, just protecting myself, you know, not them not having an idea what they were doing, uh, nobody knowing uh, if the season was going to get canceled again. And, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't like um, – I couldn't control my future. Mm. Like people – like I, at that, this was the first time in my career where I had a choice, yeah. and I was like, you know, this is the first choice I could make where I could determine where I want to go and my future. So I felt like I had to because I didn't like how they were controlling if I was going to play or not. Right, and I couldn't control COVID if I was going to play or not. So I was like, this is it. I can control this. I respect that, man. And but your time there is, is legendary. I mean, you you left your name in stone there. What'd you learn from like Coach Pride, Coach Spencer, Coach Franklin, those in particular, but just the whole staff, but those three I know you had Honestly, close relationships. I with. learned how to be a man. Mm. You know, a lot of us don't learn how to be a man. Like those came into those men came in my life, taught me structure, taught me guidance, taught me attitude, work ethic. Um, they taught me principles. Right. And they taught me a lot of hard conversations that I never had growing up. Just on the business side and like who you wanna be. And who you want to represent. So, you know, shout out to them for, you know, really changing the course of my life. You were to graduate early, man. Got your degree. That was big. What, what did that mean to you? It meant everything. That was just like that middle finger up to those mm-hmm. who said I wouldn't be nothing. So right. I wasn't smart enough. Those who said um, they couldn't count on me for anything. And I think one day when... There's no love laws. It was just motivation. But motivation. Yeah. I could just go back to Central Dolphin, go back to some people in Harrisburg, shake their hand, and look them in the eyes and say, I did it. Yeah. And they and can never take it away from you. They can never. Because there, there was a guy, I ain't going to say my name, he looked me in my eyes like, why would I ever tell scouts or you know, coaches to come get a guy like you? It was like, the way you are, Nobody would want that in that program and things like that. I said, okay. Okay. He's like, people said, he's like, you too dumb to go to college. Okay. People said, oh, you make it to college. You're not smart enough. You ain't going to last in college. Okay. Like, some people's really questioning, like, how did he get into college early? Okay. <laughs> like, I ain't want to just show you that I'm here. I want to just show, like, I'm beyond here and what I want to do.